Okay, here we're going to do problem number 21 in lesson 13.2, and it's asking you for like a bunch of like a bunch of different things about the projectile motion and or the motion of a projectile. So first, it wants to know uh, when when and how far like the the range of the the projectile and how and how long will it will take to lead to reach that range. So basically, just got to use the two two formulas that it gives us, right? So this is the formula of the range on the right. Just got to plug in all the numbers into there, and you should get 25.510 kilometers. And additionally, we just have to um, use the formula for flight for flight time because it's the same thing. So you just got to plug in the two numbers again, or just plug in uh, the theta and the 500 again to get uh, 72 seconds. So next, moving on to part B, you have to find the time it takes or for the projectile to be five kilometers so what i did was because the time for the x and the y is going to be the same right so you just got to plug in five thousand meters into the x equation to find a time when this is when it's equal to um when it's equal to five thousand so you saw that you get 14.142 so now you just plug that time into the y equation right to find how high like it will be at this time so you plug it in and you get 4,019.95 meters, pretty straightforward. Um, and then lastly, you're asked to find the greatest height by the projectile. This you just gotta use the, the last formula for this. Works by uh, the take the derivative of the formula where when it, uh, when the velocity is equal to zero, and that'll be at the apex of the the the, the projectile motion because that's when the velocity will equal to zero. So you just gotta solve for that. I just gotta plug in the numbers, and you get 6,077.55 meters, and yeah.